So as you can see, as he's placed it down, he's placed it into the spacers and then laid it flat. Otherwise, it's dug into the screed and then throw your levels off. We've been using this porcelain from Brett Landscapes. It's the Eden Cloudy Sky. And now we're going to do a step-by-step -step on how we lay our porcelain. First of all, do the ground preparation. Got a nice solid sub base. And then once we've got it all compacted, sealed up, and trimmed off, we're ready to go. Then we're gonna get the screed. Now we've imported the screed. It's a sand cement mix, and basically we put this at the bottom, underneath the slab, between the hard core and the slab, and that sets like concrete. Once we've got it placed in, brings in our wheelbarrow. Morgan's been tipping it in for me. And all we do is level it all off, work it to just above the bottom level of the slab. As we're working with our screed, we wanna make sure that we clear off the slabs because we don't wanna leave any staining. So always have a brush handy. Give them all a bit of a sweep off. Once prepped, we'll use our spacers. We're using the, uh, the wind down system. So how these work is they're like a little T-section that goes upside down. One end tucks under the existing slab. This is for the new slab we're gonna lay. So what it does, sits underneath. If one slab's slightly off, you can then tighten down using our clamp. It winds down top of the slab, and brings them both level. Once it's all set, these just simply snap off. We've also gone with our anti-friction pads. These go on top of the spaces and underneath the clamps to stop the clamp from scuffing all over the slab. Once we're ready, we've got all that prepped. We then go and collect our slab off the, uh, the lads. They've been using a primer, so they should have done two coats by now ready for the third. So in this case, we're using the Easy Prime. So buy a tub, it comes with three separate bags in it. There's other, other ones on the market, but uh, this is one of our favorites. All we've got to do is put four litres of water to a bag of Easy Prime, mix it all up using a paddle mixer, and just apply it by brush. How's it looking, our kid? Well done, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Right. So as you can see, as he's placed it down, he's placed it into the spacers and then laid it flat. Otherwise, it's dug into the screed and then throw your levels off. In many cases, you can use string lines, you can use just a foot long level, two foot long level. In this case, we're using the glaze level. And what we're doing is we've got a consistent fall, so we're matching into the existing patio, and we're checking every joint, setting the laser on that, and then working our way up. So Morgan's now going to check our levels on both the outside corners. Time to do that. Yes, yeah, so we're looking quite high. So all we're going to do is just tap down our slab, We're making sure we don't just concentrate on one corner. Although we want to drop this level, we want to make sure we distribute the load because you might end up with a piece in the middle where it like peaks and the slab starts rocking. I've got to say they're really hardy slabs. We've been giving them some stick with a mallet and don't get me wrong, I'm not the lightest uh, bloke going and put a bit of force behind them, but they're so resilient. And that's how it's been so far, we've not broken one. We've cut a few, but we've not broke any. And check that side for me. You'll notice I didn't let Morgan get me down to zero on this corner, because there's going to be movement as we adjust this corner. What we don't want to do is get that perfect and then knock it about and find ourselves low. Two, zero. This side again, please. Zero. Try to make that all level there, kid. So once we've got the zeros, all I'm doing Pushing the slab in, make sure it's nice and tight. Keep sweeping it off, you get any screed on it. And then we'll clamp it down using our spinners. These are designed not to pull the slab down, but if it needs raising any, it will pull it up. So always check your levels again, making sure the edges are flush. And we'll do one final check, Morgan, on the outside edge. Yeah, and here. Yep. Hitting zero. Then all we do there is just re repeat the process again and again. Mm -hmm.